Hello everybody, this is Dream Gamer back for round four of Group G. Group D, Group G, probably the tightest group in this tournament so far. And each of these matches holds quite a big significance. So, up first we have Fools Catamato going up against Random Guy 86 Adolf Adams taking on DBW's Original Gangsters 2. And then Heavy Weapons Guy going up against Nopi. So yeah, without further ado, let's get on with our first matchup, which as I said, it's Fools Captain Matto against Random Guy 86. Right the O then. Double check my corner first. <laughs> In the red corner for Fools Captain Matto, it's a Uteraptor. We all know it's a Uteraptor. We all see what it can do. But can Fools Captain Matto get back to winning ways after two straight defeats? It's gonna be tough though, because well, as I said, their opponent's Random Guy 86. Who've won three out of three so far in this tournament? Do not lag, computer. Do not lag, game. Got enough trouble setting this up. So no, 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 no lag. Do not do it. Anyway, as for random guy 86 in the blue corner, is Kazmasaurus. Well, we all know what our lightning spear can do and should random guy get it off, it will, he will most likely make it four wins out of four. Well, again, as I said earlier, every match in this group is pivotal. Ooh, but it's a Uterap again, the first hit. Decent damage dealt there, decent, decent. Well, this is a good start from Fool's Cap and Matt, though, exactly what they would have wanted. Ooh, but Random Guy 86 responded with his first attack of the match. On Young Era Dive to come as well, but the Dino Illusion has been triggered. Ooh, a Lightning Axe! I think this is the first time he's got one off in this tournament. Lightning Axe coming in there. That was a really good hit from Random Guy 86. The Dino Illusion will cause a problem though. Ooh, Light Recovery's coming though. Uteraptor striking back, and I think, yep. Gonna take down the Chasmosaurus and give Fools Capamato a 1 0 lead. Alpha Slash! Skippity Skip! Alright then, as for Random Guy's second dino, it's, well, Tank Tector, of course. Can Tank Tector get Random Guy back in this match? Or is he gonna suffer his first defeat of this tournament? <laughs> I'll stop. Oh, it's a crit! This Uteraptor's looking really strong. Oh, um. Well, Crystal Crush has been triggered, but uh, I think Random Guy's in a bit of trouble yet. Ooh, well, oh, it's the Crystal Crusher for the Dino Illusion. Stopped it. Well, at, le at least they got rid of the Dino Illusion. You know, there is that. Oh, oh, well, there's a 2 0 lead for Fool's Cat and Matt, though. up the cleaning house. Right, as for Random Guy's third and final Dino, it's an Alpha Allosaurus, and Random Guy 86 has not looked good in this matchup at all. Get absolutely minced by the Uteraptor. Yeah, I think Fool's Cap's gonna win at this point. And I think Random Guy 86's winning streak in this tournament is ending. But you never know, you never know. We've had some comebacks in this tournament. And will we see another one? Ooh! Ninja attack coming in. It's a crit. Will the Uter survive this? I think it will, probably, because the Aloe's crit isn't that great. But at least Random Guy's getting a hit on the board. Tie Bomb as well. No Dino Illusion. Oh, oh, back to Fool's Catamato getting hits. Light Recovery coming in as well, but that's all Light Recovery will be doing, as it's maxed up. Oh, it's a tie! Sonic Blast! What are the chances? Is Fool's Cap gonna win 3 now? Ugh, I don't like one sided matches, okay? I don't like them. And this is probably gonna happen, isn't it? Mm. 
Nope. No free nil win for Fool's Cap on that. Oh, you are at the going down. But let's be honest, I think Fool's Cap's going to win at this point. Because their second dino is, yep, an Alpha Acrocam for Saurus. Which has the type advantage over that Allo. Although it only has one fire move. And the Allo only has one win move, so... If ran well, if the random number generator was fit, it would start giving random guy the hits. And we have seen some stranger things in this tournament, so you never know. You never know. Can random guy do it? It would be one hell of a comeback. Well, it's a tie. Of course, of course, they get off heat eruption. Well, of course he gets off heat eruption. It's, it's, it's like, yeah, that ball, that is absolute rubbish. Oh, bless, it survived as well, but the volcano burst effect's gonna finish it off. <laughs> oh, bless him. Well, that's a dramatic way to end your winning streak, isn't it? However, it is a big bonus point win for Fools Capomato, and that puts them right in the mix to finish in the top three. As for Random Guy 86, well, didn't really happen at all. <laughs> Ugh, I don't like those kind of matches, but, you know, there we are. Hopefully these next two matches will be a bit more interesting. Well, this one will definitely be interesting because up next is a big game between Adolf Adams and Dog 2. All right, you know, in the red corner for Adolf Adams. It's a polar campus. The orange wild child itself. We've definitely seen how effective it can be when it gets going. Can Adolf Adams get back to winning ways after suffering their first defeat of the tournament? In the blue corner, for Dog 2, it's a Baryonyx. Well, put it this way, it's win or bust for Dog 2. They win this match, ideally with a bonus point, and they will give themselves a chance of getting out of this group. Lose, and it's all but over. Well, it is over. <laughs> A win for Adolf Adams will all but secure their place in the last 32 as well. Well, it pretty much should. Given that given that random guy lost as well. Ooh, good start from the canvas. Getting the first hit there, Adolf Adams. Oh, that's a tie sand trap. Sand trap coming in from the uh, from the I was going to say from the Adolf Adams, from the Polar Canvas. Adolf Adams on top early on. Again, double check to make sure I record, which I am. Because my computer's being an arse today, you see. Ooh, however, the Barry does respond with an Aqua Whip. Dog 2 getting their first hit of this match. Boosh. Wow, look at that damage! Mightily impressive there. I believe this Barry is counter-type. Oh, another tie. Another sand trap. Ties favour Adolf Adams. As they will probably take a 1-0 lead. Boing. Blah. Yeah, there goes the Barry. And there's a 1-0 lead for Adolf Adams. Right, the O then. As for Dog 2, second I know it's a Tarkia. Could be a key asset here for Dog 2, as it does have the type advantage over Adolf Adams' second Dino. But he got to get there first, and this Polar Canvas is not messing around. Ooh, Alpha Dice coming in. Is this going to be a big number? Okay, yeah, that's uh, Polar Camphor's dead. And we are level pecking. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> right, as for Adolf Adams' second dino, is, as I said earlier, a lightning dinosaur. It's a Rhinoceratops, which will have the tight disadvantage against Atarkia. Ooh, this could be, could be a key matchup here, because Dog 2 really needs to get, ideally needs to get a bonus point. Well, well. Any win will do, to be honest. But ideally, it has to be a bonus point win. And this could be a good opportunity to build a lead here. But you've got to get hits first. Oh, it's a tie! 
Chai's do favour Adolvat. No, do favour Dog 2 now. Yeah, look at that. Elemental power will help Adolf Adams up. So our damage will be increased next time. But it's a tie. Dog 2 can't get a hit with a Tarkia. Till now. <laughs> I thought I clicked paper then. Like, oh no, I <laughs> messed up again. Ugh. Curse my fingers. Which are not fat fingers, they're very skinny fingers. Ooh, add off Adams again to hit. A Lillian Q, I'm interested. Boosh. Elemental power maxed up now. Not that it really, not that it's going to matter at this point. But it's good to have anyway. Oh, Ty. Ty's favourite dog too. And it's going to be a 2-1 lead for dog too. But the Tarkia did take a beat in, so the bonus point win doesn't seem likely. Oosh. But they do have the lead, which could be crucial. Right, as for Adolf Adams' third dino, it's you guessed it. The little sauropod with a big heart. Gone one a Titan. I don't know why I say that, but I just do, okay? Pretty much a full tilt gone one a Titan, yeah? But it has atomic bomb instead of aqua whip. Because you never know when you need it. Zittery, zittery, zittery. Although, I do think that there's no lightning dinosaurs in third, so... <laughs> Not as helpful as you would think, but look at this. Tarkia getting a hit. Can do Oh, look at that. Yeah, this Tarkia is heroic type, I think, so that's why I did so much damage there. Oh, there's a tie. Can dog to it. One hit for the bonus point win. Oh, it's a crap. No bonus point for dog two. Adolf Adams gets the crit, the atomic bomb to finish off the Tarkia and level things up. Now then, things get interesting because the third dino is Super Fairy. I doubt we'll see the Awaken mode, but you never know, we might see it. <laughs> but this could go down to the wire. Although, all Dog 2 needs is another hit and they'll win. Oh, is it going wrong? Is it going wrong for Dog 2? It's the Futaba Cannon. This is going to do damage to the fairy. Boosh. Almost half his health gone. Oh, it's gone wrong. This crit, I think, is going to defeat the fairy. Yeah, there goes the fairy. And there goes DBW's original gangsters too from the tournament. Adolf Adams coming from behind to win. Well... They'll get a losing bonus point, Dog 2, but sadly it's not going to be enough. And it is a group stage elimination for Dog 2. Just didn't quite happen for them this time. But, you know, they can always they can finish their tour, still finish their tournament on a high if they win their, in the next round. Right then, on to our final match of this session, which is an important game between Heavy Weapons Guy and Nopey. Right the O then, in the red corner for Heavy Weapons Guy, is Super Alio Ramos. And, well, the Awaken mode is on, um, well, triggered right away, which so far hasn't worked for Heavy Weapons Guy, but they did, did get that win last time out against Fool's Capamata, which could be turn out to be a crucial win going forward. However, in the blue corner for Nopi. I got the screenshot I want. We have a tank. Well, tank is kind of a staple for Team Nopi and it was very effective for him last time in the last tournament. And while it hasn't been as effective so far, it can still do some damage. And is still a key asset for Nopi going forward in this tournament. 
well, this could be an interesting match because they're both pretty much level pecking at the minute. So a win for either of these two will tighten their grip. Well, help strengthen their grip on the top three. Ooh, not the style the weapon guy would have wanted. A crit off the bat from Nopi. Defense boost coming in as well. Well, here comes the awaken mode. <laughs> Will Heavy Weapons Guy get it off? Oh, it's a tie? They won't mind that. Oh, they didn't get the hit. <laughs> well, they, at least they did some damage with the tie. You know, so it wasn't a complete waste. But there's a hit from Tank. Fully maxed up in defense boost now. This tank will be really hard to take down. Especially for something like an Alio Ramus. Ooh. It does get the burning dash. It does get off the crit block. Could that be a turning point? Boosh! Well, usually Alio Ramus is dead by now, but no, it's surviving. But look, yeah, look at that. Burning dash and it did not much damage. But the crit block coming in here, which means Alio Ramus will be going skizzers. As will no peak. Oh, another tie. I tell you what, though. The Alley Remus did well. You know, it didn't get the hit well in the Awaken mode, but it did do a number on tank. Which means it should be easy pickings for this Ulura Titan, which also has a type advantage over tank. Ooh, well, we all saw how MVP this thing was last time out. And Heavy Weapons Guy's gonna need it to pull its work here this time around. Well, no surprise there. Tank going down and Heavy Weapons Guy evening the score, so... Well, he didn't get the hit with the Awaken mode, you know, it wasn't the worst case scenario there for Heavy Weapons Guy, you know. Obviously, he would have loved to have got the hit with, with the Awaken Mode, but it didn't. But at least it did, it did some damage with the time. And we are level pecking as this Super Baryonyx comes in, so it's still anyone's game. The Awaken Mode for the Barry, though, could be key to deciding who wins. Oh, is Barry getting the first hit? No shockwave though. Awaken mode on three, I believe. I better double check the notes. Yes, that is a three. Oh, that's a tie. Oh, oh we got a green impulse. Ooh, we're tight and getting a hit back. Heavy weapons guy getting off a green impulse there. Could come in handy. Push. <laughs> Leave a like for my epic sound effects. Oh, is it Kamikaze Tango? Will the Barry survive? Can the Baryonyx survive this? Oh, it does! You know what that means? It's wait, wait time. Well, this could be the turning point of the match. If Heavy Weapons Guy gets the hit, hell, even a tie, I think, would do it. Oh, he got the green, got the green impulse off. How big could that be? Nope, he did land some damage with the tie though, so it's not a complete loss, but a big gain for Heavy Weapons Guy. That Awaken mode could have changed everything. And well, that's going to get you nothing because the Baryonyx has no health left. Well, as for Nopey's third dino, it's a Sorrow Fagonet. Could Nopey be in a bit of trouble here? Well, I think so, given that Anne of Adams won earlier. Although, random guy 86 did not win. So, you know, it's... Well, this group is still open. <laughs> even after this round. Can Nopi come back into this and win? Or can Heavy Weapons Guy get the job done? I should point out... Actually, yeah, I think at this point, I think Heavy Weapons Guy is going to win. Yeah, I think Eddie Weapons Guy is going to win this match because their third dino is Amplosaurus, which will have the type advantage over the Fakonax. Well, 
Faganax getting a hit, I suspect Ulua Titan will go down. Yep, there it is. Ulua Titan going down. Nopey coming back into it, but. Now the problem, the big problem for Nopi, the Ampelosaurus. Heavy weapons guy still has the upper hand. Well, in my opinion, anyway. In my humble opinion. This Ampelosaurus could be key for heavy weapons guy here in getting the win. Well, put it this way, he's got a chance. He's got a good, favourable chance. Although, I will say, the Firebomb will still deal some damage. So it's still anyone's game, but I would say the odds at the minute are in Heavy Weapons Guy's favour. And definitely more so after this Aqua Wear. Whoosh! That will also secure the losing bonus point for Heavy Weapons Guy. In fact, I think Heavy Weapons Guy is the only guy in the whole tournament to actually get a bonus point of some kind of all, in all their matches. They've managed to secure losing bonus points. Oh, it's a tie. Yeah, I think that's it now. Heavy Weapons Guy I think is going to get the win. Or maybe not. Oh, wow. That did not much damage. Oh, it's a tie. Has Nopi secured the losing bonus point? I'll have to double check. Oh, okay. Well, definitely so after this hit. Wow, he's going right down to the wire. Look at this. It all comes down. Wait, are we going to have a draw? We might have a draw. Oh, nope, he snatched it. The Sorrow Fagonax snatched the match for Nopey. A big three points for Nopey. Heavy weapons guy coming up short again. But they will get... Like, they basically have got in every match so far at least a losing bonus point. So, there is that. But Nopey getting the big three points there to strengthen their grip on the top three. Right, now, time to update the table and then we can end the session. Well, pff, just, just, look, just look how tight Group G is. Right? Absolute insanity. In the other groups so far, at least the top guy has pretty much secured qualification, but... Look how tight it is. Like, even Adolf Adams and Nopey haven't secured their place. Although, and I should point out that round five, we will see Nopey going up against Random Guy 86, Adolf Adams taking on Fool's Cap and Atto, and Heavy Weapons Guy going up against Dog 2. Still all to play for. This is absolute insanity. And yeah, it's actually, Heavy Weapons Guy has a good record here because. They've gotten at least, as I said earlier, they, they've gotten at least a losing bonus point in all their matches so far. Like, if it just weren't for the Alio Ramus have been awakened straight away, you know, Heavy Weapons Guy could be higher up the table. But look how tight it is. Adolf Adams only top by virtue of the fact that they beat Nopi in the first round. So hard to call. It really is. <laughs> but, yep. Yeah, it's going to end this session here, so I hope you enjoyed. Please leave a like, subscribe, do all that stuff. And stay tuned for next time where we do round four for Group H. And until then, this is Strange Gamer signing out.